know a lot of you always ask, how do you film the Power Data videos? So this video is going to be two parts. The first one's going to be how I film them, and the second part is how do I actually edit them. And the filming part is probably the hardest part because it's not just me. This is my friend Richard. <laughs> so everyone always says, have you got a motorbike? Are you like, is it a car? No, it's just Richard. He's just a very, very, very fast rider and he can always just stay ahead of me. And so what we do is Richard goes ahead and then we attach. This is a GoPro Hero 8 on the back. And that's just attached with like a really cheap, like GoPro. It's like a wrist strap, but we just kind of strap that to the, to the seat post. I film that in 4K so that I can zoom in. So if he ever gets too far ahead, like on steep stuff, you potentially that's going to happen. And so then I can just crop in so it's decent resolution. But this is what you don't see. So <laughs> because it's cold at the top, Rich has got my gilet, my long sleeve jacket, puncture repair kit. And then he also has this camera that I'm filming on, which is a Sony a7 III. And it's pretty heavy. But you're, oh, and then this. <laughs> Uh, I've also got, what have we got in there? A spare lens for photographs and a drone, some snacks, tire okay, levers. Okay. Just, you know, just in case we bunk on the climb. So I've got to say, I won't be able to do any of these videos without Colonel Richard there <laughs> storming up. Look how shy you look. Don't be shy. You've been in loads of videos. You're a monster on the climb. So, so what I do then, I'll go back and I will take you into my office and show you how I actually edit it all but honestly I've got like Richard is just thank you so much for doing all this and you love doing it. I love it, love it a bit. He loves it. So yeah that's how we get the video so big thank you to Richard. Um, so now yeah let's head back inside and I will show you how I edit. Right so I'm back now and the first thing that I always do, you don't need to do this, is just what I do. I basically put the GoPro footage through like my editing software which is Final Cut Pro and just kind of colour grade it slightly and then also I crop in and um, that's the reason that I use 4K um, to, to record in because then it just gives me better resolution so that I can zoom in because with the footage that you actually get you kind of can see the, the rear wheel and I'm kind of far back so I'll just kind of like zoom in a little bit and then I resave that but that can take quite a while just because the file can be quite big depending on, on how long the climb is so that's the first thing. I've already done that just because you don't really need to do it. So then the next thing you do is you're going to need to get a, um, it's free software called Garmin Verb. And I use a Wahoo. I don't use Garmin. So, and it's fine with the, um, Garmin Verb. So you just want to open that. And then once you're in there, what you need to do is you need to create a video. So Basically what this software does, it's basically like an editing app that allows you to put the, the metrics over the top. So all the screen overlays that you see, that's how I do it. So you create the video, I'm gonna call it hard not pass. So you create the video. And then what you want to do is you wanna import clips and photos. So import there. And like I say, I've obviously filmed it on a GoPro. So you just want to import the footage um, and I always just put import only because I don't need it to save the footage, it's just quicker. So import the clip, that's that done. Um, so that is there, then you want to drag and drop that into the timeline, which is that little bit there. And on a Mac I press command and plus just so it like stretches it out so you can kind of see more what's going on. And then what you actually need to do is um, when you have done a ride, you kind of get something that's called a fit file and that is kind of like all the data and all the all the data and the stats really. So I've already done that and what you need to do is I use a Wahoo and all you need to do is go on the app and go on the history, click the, the ride that you've done and all you need to do is just basically press share fit file. I think when I, when I used to have a Garmin, I think you just need to plug it in and then go to activities and then drag the file out that way, but I've already got that on my computer. So yeah, just you just need to be able to get the fit file onto this. So yeah, once you've got that clip in there, you want to, oh, hang on, I forgot now. Oh yeah, import fit or GPX file in the data lab. So click the data tab. I've got it off my computer, so browse that. I've got it on my desktop. That's the fit file that I've already shared. Open that up. And 
it's quite easy to do, it's just a bit time consuming because what you now need to do, so use that log. So for example, if you've just basically had your ride at the start and end of that segment, it's gonna be a lot easier, whereas I don't think I did. All you have to do now is kind of line up um, in the road where the segment starts, if that makes sense. So let me show you. So let's, uh, geometric syncs, click that. So what you need to do is pick a frame in the video that you can find on the map. So you need to find it, it where in that ride you actually did, this, did the segment. And we did kind of like a, a lot of messing around, like warming up. And so it's gonna take me a minute just to try and find where the start of the segment is on this. Um, so that must be it there. So all you're doing now is lining up the, the clip of the footage to where it is on the map, where that actually starts. And this is what takes the most time. What's that road there? Okay, so that I found on the map now. On that map, that is where the phone box is. So I'm gonna line that up to the video. So. that that should pretty much be the start which is just uh, where the phone box the phone box is just there and that should sync up the data to um to the video and there's loads of different gauges and stuff that you can like have on there i just pick uh pat i'll show you in a minute so if you go on appearance i've actually saved some so i've saved templates um Okay, continue. I think I have this one up the most, which is that. So these are the ones I have, I have um, what you've seen. So I have cadence, kilometers per hour, watts and gradient, but there's so many different ones you can have. So if you go on gauges, you can basically select data type, speed, duration, like cadence, all these ones, you can just have any of them. So for example, let's just click elevation. You can click that, click that and just drag it and drop it on, and that's it. And you just, to get rid of it, you just kind of highlight it and just press delete. So you can have any you want on there. I've got mine set like that, you can just move them around, but that's just kind of my um, set template. But yeah, literally go on any of them, uh, like for example, duration, you can put that on there, but yeah. So that is that, and then what I do now is I will just watch that and try and make sure that, say for example, when I've stopped pedaling or when I know I'm gonna go like all out, that those metrics and the power is kind of aligned. Um, and if it's not, then you need to go back onto that G metrics page and kind of line up the, the, um, the video with the, um, with the map. What I find is good to, to do this, I always kind of go to the end where I know I've stopped pedaling and try and make sure that when it gets to zero, um, like, is that lined up? Right, so I think that is pretty much it. So it's just a bit of faffiness, that's all it is. You just gotta try and line it up as best you can. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is click share. Oh no, sorry, export. And then I export 1080, 24 frames, quality high. So I just click export and then I save it to, I'll save it to my hard drive. And that is how you get the overlays on there. That is pretty much it. So I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions about it, leave it in the comments and I'll see you next video. Testing, testing. Oh God, that's wobbly. That looks massive. Anyway.